In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can send Discord webhooks from inside of your Roblox game. Discord webhooks can be used to send small packets of information over to our Discord service channels or in other channels if you want to do that too. Now you may be thinking to yourself, how are we going to be able to send requests to Discord if Discord blocks requests from Roblox? And that is a great question, and that brings us on to the next step, which is talking about rank on hooks. Rank on hooks is essentially a proxy between Roblox and Discord that allows us to send messages to Discord. So essentially, the Roblox server sends a request to rank on hooks, and then on behalf of us, rank on hooks sends a request over to Discord. Now keep in mind, this is both Roblox TOS and Discord TOS compliant, so nobody will get in trouble for using rank on hooks. Now let's go on to creating a webhook, a crucial part of this tutorial. Okay, so here we are inside of Discord, you want to go to a server of your choice, I'm in my own personal server, then go to a channel where you want to send messages in, I'm going to use general, click on edit channel, then head to integrations, and then click on create webhook. This will create a webhook for us, then expand it, you can give it a custom name if you want, and then I'm just going to call it um, Noah's little bot, and then you can also set a profile picture if you want to, and then be sure to click on save changes. You can also change the channel manually here if you accidentally clicked on the wrong area. Okay, so I think it's going to be pretty beneficial if I show you the exact basics of how this works before we build it in Studio. So I'm changing the method to be post so our server knows how we're communicating with it. Then we're going to make it a rank on hook by changing it from discord.com to hooks.rangon.works. And then now we need to try and send it. So let's see if this works. So we click on the send button and as you can see we get an error. Now the reason we've got an error is because we haven't passed any body data. So let's click on body, then we're going to change it over to raw, and then we're going to tell the server that we're giving it JSON. Now don't worry about doing all of this, this is just an example to show you how everything's working. And actually, because I can't remember all the fields we need to go to give in the body, let's have a look at the Discord documentation. So I'm going to pull it up here, and you can see there is the execute webhook documentation. And as you can see, we have the execute webhook, the post, and uh -huh, JSON slash form params. You can see we have the field, content, and username. So let's just go ahead and send some content. So we're going to copy this. We're going to head over to Postman again. We're going to create a dictionary here. And then we're going to um, create the field content. And then let's just give it a, this is a test, a one, two, and then three. And now the reason we're giving it some body is so that Discord knows what to send through the Discord webhook. Now let's go ahead and try it. We get a 204, which is what we want. Now if we head back to Discord and to our channel, you can see the message is now sent. So let's go ahead and now build this inside of Roblox Studio. Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio, and as you know, we can only send HTTP requests from inside of Server Script Service. So let's create a script in there. And I think, for an example, let's make a join logger. So let's just call this um, a join logger or something along those lines. And then let's start with the scripting side of this tutorial. So first of all, we need to define a HTTP service. So we can do this by saying local HTTP service equals games get service HTTP service. And then the HTTP service is responsible for sending out requests. And then let's define our local uh, hook URL by saying local hook URL equals. And then let's head over to Discord, then to our channel, then to the integrations where we had our Discord webhook. And then let's copy the webhook URL. And then let's paste that into there. Okay, great. Um, and then what we need to do is change discord.com to hooks.rangon.works. And because this is a join logger, we'll have to add the logic where the player joins the game. So to do this, we need to detect when the player joins. And let's say added connect function, and then all the code inside of this function will run once a player joins, then let's also define the player inside of parameters, and then let's drop a line, and now it's time to add the hook sending logic. So this is an example really, but you can do anything you want. So let's say local data equals, and then let's use our squiggly brackets, and then let's pass the field, hmm, okay. So because I don't know what fields to pass, we're actually going to have a look at the documentation and let's head over to the Discord documentation and ah, we have the field content and let's also just use the uh, field username to be fun. So let's say content equals 
and then let's add a little message. Actually, let's make this message customized. So let's concatenate the player name by saying player dot name dot oops I made a mistake player dot name dot dot and then let's concatenate the message has joined the game or has joined your game then let's say a uh, username yep that is the username field username equals and then let's set it to join logger so the discord webhook looks like it's a join logger system and as you can see we missed a comment after line 7 now what we need to do is actually send our request so remember earlier how we used a post request, we'll have to do that too. So let's say HTTP service post to sync. Then let's pass the hook URL. Then we need to turn the data dictionary into JSON. So we can say HTTP service JSON encode. And then let's pass the data and it can automatically do that. And then let's say enum.http content type dot and then application JSON. So our server knows that we're sending JSON data. Okay, so now let's test this out. That's looking all good. And let's click on play and hopefully it should work. Okay, so I've clicked on play We're inside of the game. Okay, this is great. Now, if we look on Discord though, let's. Ah, okay. A message has not sent. So let's have a look in the output, view output. Oh, HTTP requests are not enabled. So let's do that. We can head over to game settings in home, I think it is. Yep, and then go to security. And then make sure allow HTTP requests is enabled. And this allows HTTP service to send out requests to other servers. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Okay, so here we are loading in. And okay, it's looking all good in output. Yep, we have no errors. And then let's head over to Discord now. And yep, okay, so it has worked completely perfectly. And by the way, you can use this Discord webhook to send almost anything you want. So the possibilities are practically endless. And once again, thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you have any questions about either this system or anything else, or maybe you want to suggest a video idea, feel free to head over to our Discord server, which is now going to be linked down below, and feel free to ask us anything there. So thank you for tuning once more again into this video. If you'd like to support the channel for only £2 a month, you can do this by becoming a member. And you don't even have to do that, subscribing helps a lot. Thank you, and that's all for me, and bye bye